was me. We just uh, heard the first reactions of N. B. Rain Singh, the Manipur Chief Minister, uh, re regarding the all-party meet, which is right now underway in New Delhi. Your first reactions on the entire matter. The Imphal Valley targeting their own elected representatives, which is absolutely shocking. And uh, you know, if uh, the people in the valley are uh, you know uh, pushing for the interest of the state. Uh, they are indulging in such acts that will only uh, prove again and again, that will only reinforce the fact that law and order has uh, absolutely collapsed in the state of Manipur. And that strengthens the case for imposition of president's rule in Manipur. If the mob in the Imphal Valley continues like this to attack uh, the private property uh, of elected representatives, burning down houses, burning down godowns owned by them in the process, uh, also uh, attack, also uh, you know, destroying public property. In this case, 120 crore worth of sewage pipes that were being kept in a property uh, owned by uh, uh, L. Uh, L. Susindra, a, a state minister. I mean, this is absolutely shocking act of the valley because their own acts will now reinforce the case for imposition of president's rule in Manipur. This is something absolutely mindless kind of a violence that is going on in uh, in the Imphal Valley now. Uh, now, yes, on the, now, now, you know, the attack is on two-pronged. On one side, it is the, uh, uh, the ethnic clash that is going on between two communities. On the other side, the one community attacking their own elected representatives that is in the Imphal Valley. This is absolutely shocking. And you heard the first reaction of Biren Singh saying that these are acts which are politically instigated. That is the word. And now, who is instigating this? Is it the Congress? Is it the other parties? Most of the political parties are allies of the BJP in Manipur. Now, who is he targeting? Who is he accusing? Uh, that Who is he pointing his finger at? Who are these people who are politically instigating? Now, uh, is it not common sense that if anybody instigates, and the mob, which are common people, goes around attacking the, the, the residences of the very people whom they had elected to power, uh, whom they have chosen as their best representative in the, from their respective constituencies. And then, then uh, you are forcing, although it is a BJP government in the center, I mean, you'll be forced at one point to, 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 to take control of the law and order situation. And if the elected government cannot control the law and order situation, then it will be left to the center to take over, uh, take over power and try to restore order in the state. At the end of the day, law and order is a state subject. It is for the state representatives, state government to, 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 to take control of the situation. But when the state fails, when the state government fails, it is incumbent upon the center to dismiss the elected state government, impose Article 356, and then take control. In that case, it will be the governor who will run the administration with the help of advisors. Now, even that is not easy in the state of Manipur because the police is obviously divided on ethnic lines. And the people in the valley are accusing the army and the Assam rifles of taking sides of the cookies. And while the cookies are accusing the uh, Manipur police uh, of, of supporting the Mete. So in this kind of a chaotic situation, uh, uh, I mean, it, the challenges is only increasing and adding to the problem is the mob in the Imphal Valley attacking the property of their respective elected representatives. All right. Now, Wasbir, what do you think? What are these mob up to? Now, they have come to uh, destroy the public properties. Uh, this is 120 crore we are talking about. This is not a property of any MLA or any elected representative, but a public property. So, what do you think? What are these mob up to? What, what is, is exactly happening? Yeah, what are they is, up to their mind? No, no, that is the reason why I said these are mindless acts of violence. People are indulging in such acts without uh, looking into the cons consequences. Uh, they are they are just indulging in mindless violence. I think the saner people within the society, the civil society, must rise to the occasion to control their mob. Uh, this is this is absolutely this is the now the now the clash in Manipur. The violence is in Manipur is going into a different trajectory altogether. Now 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 if you fail to control the fight between the ethnic clashes, that is one problem. The second problem is you have, you have failed to control mobs in the Imphal Valley. That is another big issue. Now, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this reflects on the administration, uh, present administration in the state. At the same time, it reflects on the civil society leaders who have to rise to the occasion, uh, instill reason into the mob, not to destroy public property. At the end of the day, these sways pipes are not belong, does, would not have served the interest of only the politicians. 
He sways pipes with the served interest of the entire Imphal city or the or even the outskirts. Now the contractor, according to the minister, in whose property these pipes were there. Uh, the minister said that these pipes were left there by the contractor uh, uh, only a couple of only some time ago. Uh, then and he has estimated the, uh, the the cost of these pipes at 120 crore. That means 120 crore uh, burned to ashes uh, by this mob in one act of mindless violence. Now they are they are angry with the elected representatives who they feel have uh, failed in protecting the life and property of the ordinary civilians. But that does not mean the civilians will go on attacking attacking the property of these uh, elected representatives. No, this is absolutely shocking. The ball, I would say, is in the court of the civil society, community leaders, uh, as well as, of course, the government and the security forces. All right. Now, Vasbir, as we speak, the all-party meet on Manipur is underway, the first since the violence began in Manipur on May 3rd. Well, yes, the all-party meeting is going on, but uh, I don't expect anything concrete to emerge out of the all-party meeting. Most of the people there, including the Congress, will demand uh, imposition of president's rule. Others will talk about peace, uh, the road to peace, so dialogue between the communities. These are, unexpected. These are the things which are likely to be, to be the major views of those who are attending this all-party meeting. At the end of the day, the 51-member uh, uh, peace committee that was set up by the central government has even failed to take off. And, and, and with the communities and the civil society groups saying that they are not going to be part of the it, part of it. Cookie said that they will not be part of it because Chief Minister Irene Singh, who they accused, uh, who they say that is the perpetrator, accused of being the perpetrator of this violence, they, they will not attend un until uh, because Billion Singh is there in the committee. Now, 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 as far as the meetings are concerned, the organizations like the Kokomi has said that unless the, there is a there is a, uh, a campaign against narco terrorists, uh, unless there is a movement against narco terrorists, attempts by the administration to track down on narco terrorists, which they call, uh, they are not going to be part of the committee. So this has become a non-starter. Now, if the, if the, even if the all party leaders who are attending they suggest the road to peace. How are the two sides going to come together? Because unless they come face to face, nothing concrete is going to emerge. So it's a catch-22 situation in any case.